go. With the bipolar forceps attached at a 25 watt setting, we'll now depress the foot pedal. This is using the five millimeter instrument on bipolar. Now we'll look at the tissue and you can see where the tissue is sealed and is cut nicely. Now what we'll do, we'll try the 10 millimeter handpiece. We'll use that on a preset of number two. Because the surface area of this handpiece is 10 millimeters and it's flat, so much more contact with the tissue, this normally works very quickly. We apply the forceps. There's a ratchet handle, so that will stay in place. I don't need to keep my hands there. And now we will depress the ceiling foot pedal. We now got a different alarm. I've still got my foot on the foot pedal, but the machine is cut out, so it's safe. You're not gonna go through that. We now cut using the trigger and then we can release and have a look and as you can see we've got a clean cut through the tissue the meat's a bit scraggy so it's not the best of uh, videos to, to show the actual function of the sealer but it's it gives you a very good idea also uh, I was talking to you about the fact that this machine will give other alarms. If, for example, the tissue is not gripped properly, or if the forceps are not closed properly, what will actually happen is the machine will give a different alarm when you press the foot pedal. And if you look at the machine, you will see an open hold alarm. So it basically means that the jaws are open or there's something wrong. It will not allow you to uh, continue. You also get a tone if you actually put too much tissue into the jaws and there's too much tissue for the, for the forceps to cope with. Um, so you get various alarms uh, on this machine. Okay, thank you.